Hi everyone, welcome to story time. I hope you've enjoyed our books about fish and frogs so far this week. Today we're gonna get to meet a couple of new creatures and see how they grow. Our celebrations and shout outs are going to Stephanie and her older sister, Natalie, for all of their hard work um, this week and for sharing this photo of how they celebrated Cinco de Mayo with a special book that they had at home. Way to go, Kipsters. To start, make sure you've got a comfy space. Um, I'll read our story together. Feel free to act out words with me or pause if you wanna talk about any of the questions more. And then I'll show you an idea for an activity that you can do later today. Today, our story has a really silly name. It is called The Caterpillar and the Pollywog. Hmm. The caterpillar and the pollywog. Have you ever seen these creatures or organisms before? Yeah, we've seen caterpillars before, but I'm not really sure what a pollywog is. Hmm, let's think about what we already know about how animals and organisms grow. What do you already know? What have you learned about how things grow? That's right, sometimes they start out as eggs or as babies and then they get bigger. Sometimes big changes happen. I remember when we read about our fish and frog, the frog grew legs and it got to leave the pond, but the fish had to stay in the pond. It just got bigger. All right, I'm excited to see what this polywog is and how it grows today. Today, our new vocabulary word is metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is when something changes or grows into something completely new. So it changes into a new form. You can look at this picture to see how a caterpillar goes through a metamorphosis and changes into a butterfly. I wonder if we'll get to see that happen in our book today. All right, our question today is how will the caterpillar and polywog change? Here we go. I'm gonna make myself a little bit bigger so that you can see the different pages. The Caterpillar and the Polywog, written and illustrated by Jack Kent. Wow, look at those shadows. Is that showing us what they're going to grow into? Here we go. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamuses and creatures like you and I get older, we get bigger. Especially hippopotamuses. But not caterpillars. Hmm, what's different about caterpillars? They turn into butterflies. Turning into something else like that is not a thing that just anybody can do. Can we turn into butterflies? No. Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it or talked about it to her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the snail. That's nice, said the snail. We didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. I don't blame you, said the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the pollywog. What fun, said the pollywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way looking for someone else to tell her secret to. I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the pollywog. You will, said the fish. All pollywogs okay. do. How long does it what am I going to turn into, the pollywog asked. But the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed after it. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had circled around the pond and was going around for a second time. I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the pollywog. 
You? The caterpillar was so surprised she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so, the pollywog told her. Fish know things, they go to school. The caterpillar was upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said sadly. What are we going to turn into? the pollywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. But I guess I will too, said the pollywog happily. What fun! Let's do it together. Hmm, do you think this pollywog is going to turn into a butterfly like the caterpillar? Let's find out. All right, the caterpillar agreed, although she would rather have done it alone. But I get to go first. The pollywog didn't mind. He still wasn't sure how this was done. I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon or a chrysalis. Uh, like this is the tricky part, she said. Caterpillars have to stay in cocoons for a long time so that they transform into butterflies. The pollywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid, she said. And when I come out, I'll be butterfly. Go ahead, said the pollywog. I want to see you do it. It will take a while, the caterpillar warned. She started spinning again and was soon out of sight in her cocoon. For a long time, nothing happened. But the pollywog was patient. He watched and watched and watched. <gasps> Do you notice anything different in the picture? <gasps> What's changing with the pollywog? Look, <gasps> he's growing legs. What have we learned about that grows legs? What do you think this pollywog is going to be? For days and days and days, <gasps> he grew more legs and his tail is shrinking. Hmm, I think I know what animal this is turning into. Do you? At last, there was activity in the cocoon. The end of it opened and very slowly, the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly. And look, what did the pollywog turn into? That's right, a frog. The pollywog was so excited, he hopped up and down with delight. He hopped up and down like a frog. I was so busy watching you, I didn't notice what was happening to me. You're a very handsome frog, the butterfly said, and she flew off to try her new wings. But the frog was puzzled or confused. I thought I was going to turn into a butterfly, he said. Hmm. How do you think he's feeling? A caterpillar wriggled by. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else. The frog wasn't listening. He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am a very handsome frog, you know, he said. The end. Thanks for reading with me, friends. Wow, we got to see two changes or two metamorphoses happen. How did the caterpillar change? That's right, she changed into a beautiful butterfly. And how did the pottery log transform? That's right, he transformed into a frog. Did you know that was gonna happen? Thanks for reading the story with me, friends. If you have time later today, your job is to create your own butterfly. So if you use coffee filters or paper towels or paper scraps, you can color them with markers, spray them with water, and then they'll look like this and have all these beautiful different colors. I can't wait to see what you create and how you choose to make your butterfly today. Bye friends, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.